Hey guys, Nerd King 101 here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're actually going to be talking about a comic book movie. As many of you may know, earlier today a trailer for Avengers Infinity War was dropped online by Marvel Studios, and I wanted to talk about that trailer. So I have my headphones here, I've already watched it once, but I wanted to watch it and talk about certain parts of it with you. So we're going to watch it, I will pause it, and I will talk about different parts of it. I will be playing the parts that I talk about on screen somewhere, probably in one of these corners. But yes, let's get into it. Let's discuss this Marvel trailer and the future of BMCU and all that greatness. So we start off with a shot in New York City. Nothing special. So, I'll show this in a second. Okay. Okay. This answered my first major question about the movie. We already have a lot to discuss, and we're only 23 seconds in. This video is going to be long because there's a post trailer discussed in here as well. But okay. This video is going to be long. But this is the thing about this movie. I have been wondering for so long how would all this come together? Expositing why? Exposition. How would Tony Stark and Steve Rogers become aware of Thanos? And at first I was like, they're the Guardians, but then again, the Guardians don't know a ton. I always thought in the back of my mind, probably Gamora, but who knows how much does Gamora know? Does Gamora know he's planning on destroying the whole universe and collecting the Infinity Gauntlet? Well, guess what, guys? Yes! So we know Gamora is going to be our Espinacin character, meaning early in the movie there will probably be a scene, most likely after Thor contact the Avengers. He'll meet up with the Guardians in space and contact the Avengers, and they'll all meet up on Earth, and they'll be like, something's gonna go down here. I'm trying not to curse, because I don't want to get demonetized. Well, I can't. I don't monetize my video, but I don't want the video to get demonetized in the future if I ever start, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, alright? So, so, a little bit of comedy, Tony Stark was like, tell me the bastard name. And he's like, Thanos. Real, okay. Really cool shot of Thanos. Okay. This I want to talk about. It appears uh, Spider-Man won't have the Iron Spider suit, which he had in the comics in Civil War. It was teased at the end of Homecoming, but he actually gets it in, in this in uh, this movie. He starts wearing the Iron Spider suit that he wears in Civil War in the comic. But apparently he won't have that the whole movie. He'll get it probably when they're preparing to fight Thanos. So you, you see him outside the bus. But by the way, did you, I don't know if he's going to give away his identity. But he's hopped out in his civilian clothes with a mask on. He knows. So this isn't like some joke. Peter knows when he sees me attack in New York. He's like... I need to fight. He put the mask on. He's out of the thing. He's zipping away on a web. It looks really cool. I really actually really like the look of the Spider-Man mask, but with the regular TNA clothes on. I really like it. Okay, so Iron Man is flying, and he's talking about their what advantage, and he summons this, like, circle... Propulsor thing. You can't see my feet. I'm an idiot. But no, he discovers this like circle propulsion thing around his feet, and it helps him fly faster. And it's really dope. So uh, we confirm the eye bag of Moto isn't that the time stone. We reiterate that again with Doctor Strange unlocking it. Okay. So Tony is saying. We have what he wants, so that's what we use. And there's this shot of Scarlet Witch turning around in horror and Vision looking up. This is probably the moment they all realize that Vision is given life by the Infinity Stone in his forehead. We cut to Wakanda. Oh, we got the Black Widow with blonde hair and Steve Rogers walking up. No shield, which I will talk about later. They're shaking hands. 
it appeared. Let me go back. So Sherry, I believe her name is uh, Black Panther uh, sister. I can't tell what the hologram is. At first, I thought maybe it was the Hulkbuster armor, and that theory that it was her piloting it was real. But I'd like to reiterate once again, I think it is most likely that Bruce Banner can't go into his Hulk form anymore. He mentioned in Thor Ragnarok, one of them would go into the trap that the other, if he becomes the Hulk, he can never return. So when that happens, is he probably in the Hulkbuster armor fighting. That is more likely. I thought for a minute she was holding a hologram of the Hulkbuster armor because of the theory that she would be the pilot. She would use that, uh, tech from, you know, when she pilots things from a distance like she did with the car and Black Panther. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Okay. We see the Guardian of the Galaxy walking off of their ship in some area, in some spaceship. It's definitely not Earth. Okay, this is my favorite scene in the trailer. <laughs> okay, first of all, I love Peter's expression in this. Pe Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man, by the way. But Peter Parker is just looking back and forth like, They're both so cool! And meanwhile, I'm just thinking, they're both horrible people. <laughs> so, I also, this is perfect. Yeah, Star Wars like, yeah, your plan's great, but it sucks. So why don't you let me come up with the plan? So that way it might be really good. <laughs> and Robert Downey Jr. or Tony Stark is like, wow. And this, this is what people have been asking for for years. Peter Quill and Tony Stark in the same room on the big screen. It's already, I know it's going to be great. Because these are all fantastic actors with great chemistry and personality together. And it's great. On April 27th, yes, for those of you who don't know, it got moved up a week. There's the Marvel and Disney are confident in this movie. Actually, I've been talking for a while. Let me have a drink of my chocolate milk. Yeah, I'm 18 years old. I drink chocolate milk. I don't care. Okay. So, we're at Wakanda, and we see a ton of Wakandan, like, tanks driving toward what are probably ships or Thanos' army. You see Falcon... And you see War Machine. You see, wait, that, is that War Machine? No, I know. I think that's the Hulkbuster armor. It's honestly not. It's a very blurry shot. I see a bit of blue. I see that may. No, that may actually just be a ship. I think that's just a ship. I don't think that's Iron Man armor at all. It's flying. It looks like Iron Man armor, but it's very blurry. I can't really tell because of the blur effect. Captain America and Black Panther, no max, in, in a ship, going there. Captain America, still no shield, which I will get to later. We get a nice shot of Black Widow with blonde hair. Oh, we see Bucky. Bucky's there. I don't know how I feel about Black, blonde Black Widow. I feel like it kind of defeats the whole Russian assassin thing, but whatever. We get to see the Hulk armor, the Hulkbuster armor. It looks a little bit updated. Than how it used to look. Okay, so we this is the only time movie I didn't really like. It's just a shot of Doctor Strange's cape as he turns, but it's not really well done. I feel like they were trying to fill time for the Thanos space that they're uh, they have in the background. We did a great shot of Rocket horrified, maybe a Groot death. God, I hope not. I couldn't handle another group that people. So we have a great job. This is really cool. It's Thor coveting lightning inside like a ship, but with no hammer. It looks really cool. Bruce is just like, whoa. So we cut back to Earth to the battle. A ship crashes. Thanos in his full armor with his helmet and everything looks dope. I love this design. I was a little worried because he didn't look as cool. He was, was like a purple CGI guy. And this thing really cool looking. So, okay. So there's like a green baby girl. Like a, gr a young green haired girl. 
No, young green skin with red hair and a girl. I'm thinking like, like anime, like green hair girl. No, but uh, there's a girl with green skin, very young, can't be older than five or six, holding Thanos' in hand as they walk. I would assume that's one of his other daughters. I'm not actually sure who that is. A hardcore comic fan can probably tell me in the comments. We have a scene of Thanos holding the head of uh, Thor. Thor is screaming in agony. We get our first shot of the Black Order. Mm, no, no. Let's talk about the Thor thing, sir. I'm going to address this now. I don't think Thor is going to die because Chris Hemsworth has been on record saying he really enjoyed being Thor. He's one of the people I could actually see them renewing his contract for more movies. He likes doing it. He, he doesn't seem to be done with the MCU yet, like Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans are, who keep trying to lead every chance they get, but then they get offered so much money, they're like, okay, we'll stay. Then we see the Black Order. Now let's talk about the Black Order. I don't know much about them. I know they're really cool. Um, if you want to, you could probably find videos on them by comic book YouTubers. I can't give you with that origin of the Black Order. I've had to do research, which I don't feel like doing right now because we're recording. But we get our first shot of the Black Order. They do look cool. From what I remember seeing is their comic book design. These are really good takeaways. The live action, and they look really dope. Okay. That note just answered one of my long time questions. He had the uh, Tesseract in his hand, and he breaks it. He breaks the Tesseract. Okay. This is perfect. My whole question has always been, how can Thanos do that? Like, the Tesseract isn't a gem. So I guess he'll break the uh, Tesseract cube, the cosmic cube, and it will become, the, what remains will be the Infinity Stone. Okay, we get this dope shot of a Bucky readying like a rifle. And Captain America readying a makeshift deal. Still not the classic shield, which I'm worried about, and I'm gonna talk about it later, but let's just talk about it here. There was a scene in the comic, in the original Infinity War, I'll probably put it up on screen, where Thanos, where Captain America goes to charge Thanos, where he gets his shield, and Thanos just slaps the shield lightly, and the shield shattered. It's one of the most historic moments in Marvel comics. It's a really big deal. And I'll be very disappointed if we don't see that on, on screen here. I'll be very, very disappointed. So we get this one shot of uh, Black Panther readying his, readying his claws. They also, now that Black Panther has come out, they add a shot of him digitizing his helmet on. There's a really cool shot of uh, Cat Doctor Strange levitating, I believe, Star-Lord. He's like creating spears for Star-Lord to jump on. And he jumps at Thanos. A great scene. It looks like the Black Order is torturing Peter Quill. Um, once again, you have more action beats. The Hulkbuster armor are getting dominated. These fob- these aren't father. Which I like. It's not like an Age of Ultron where you're like, oh, nobody could die to these things. These things are damn, are like getting the Hulkbuster armor a run for his money. I hope they remember you. You see Iron Man, his armor destroyed. Thanos jumped out. Looks like he's gonna punch him. Then we cut to a shot of Captain America grabbing the Infinity Gauntlet. This is gonna bring up what I wanna bring up. I think Captain America gonna die. I honestly, just narratively, I don't see... Yes, okay, there's the comic. There are millions of stories you could tell with him. But with Chris Evans, Captain America, Steve Rogers, what more could you tell? I think what's more likely is he dies, and uh, Falcon becomes the new Captain America, like he did in the comic. And then we have the logo, then we have the after credit date. I'm here, by the way.
But my favorite thing in his whole trailer, when he's like, I'm Peter, by the way. He's like, I'm Dr. Strange. Which, of course, his name is Stephen Strange, but Peter's like, oh. We need to get our made up name. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> and of course, so Dr. Strange didn't have a made up name. His real name is actually Stephen Strange. Okay, I really like Spider Man You Did the Webbing off of the Fall and Debris. It's really, really cool. And that's it. The trailer ends there. Now, what I want to talk about now is uh, just my general predictions. I've talked about the trailer. I've broken it down a little bit. Talked about that, but uh, what? Do, who do I think is going to die in this? I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure they're going to kill. They're going to kill Iron Man and Captain America because the Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. are pretty much part of their characters. I don't really think you could make an Iron Man movie without Robert Downey Jr. And I don't think you could make a Captain America movie without Steve Rogers. Without Without Chris Evans, unless you killed them off and passed on the mantle, which they may do. But these versions of these characters are going to die. Tony Stark and Steve Rogers are going to die. Because uh, their actor contracts are almost out. They have like one more movie. And I feel like it would be more likely if they killed them here and maybe just brought them back as like ghosts in Avenger 4. I don't know. I think that's more likely. Uh, I love Spider-Man in this. I'm so looking forward to Spider-Man in this. Oh my god. So looking forward to him being. I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I, I said this on my old channel. I'm a big fan of Homecoming. I think it's probably one of my favorite. Probably my favorite MCU film. Not the best, but one of my favorites. Let me have a drink. I've been recording for like 45 minutes or something, I think. But, uh. There's not a ton to talk about with the trailer. I mean, you could probably, if you were a comic book expert, break this down for hours. A lot of Dick with Dick reiterating stuff we already knew. I do really like that uh, we see a lot of, uh, we get the feeling that they're going to be setting up plot lines in this. One thing a lot of people had was too many characters. It looks like they're going to handle it well. It looks like all the characters probably won't meet up until the end. I'm going to assume they're all always going to be in communication. I'm also very interested to how people like Dr. Strange come to know people like Tony Stark. Being like, weird, Thor met Dr. Strange. So the Thor just be like, yo, Tony, I know this guy, Stephen Strange. He's really, really overpowered. He's probably the most powerful one of any of us by far. Which he is, Dr. Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme at this point. He is unbelievably powerful. So I'm very excited. One thing I noticed about Thanos in this, which obviously is a little disappointing for comic book fans, it seems like they're nerfing him a little bit. They're making him slightly weaker. That's fine with me. In the comics, he had to be stronger because he was taking on the entire Marvel comic universe. Mind you, the comic universe is far bigger. He was taking on the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, Spider-Man. All the street level guys. He was taking on everyone. Even some of the villains were fighting Thanos. Here, he was, he was powerful enough to take on all the X Men, the Fantastic Four, every single other superhero on the planet from the comic in this movie. He'd be too powerful. Because there are only like 30 superheroes. There's like 30 main characters in this movie. That's a lot, but that's not as much as the original Infinity War. We also don't have any reality warpers in this story. Well, then they're interested to see how they do this. This may, I'm just going to throw up the possibility that Infinity War is a reboot. That the Thanos will win and he'll kill everybody. And they reboot the cinematic universe. Avengers 4 is like a new Avengers movie. Then they introduce the characters in, a, like, in reverse. Like they do the team up first. And then they do the origin. I'm not sure. But then again, apparently Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans are supposed to be in Avenger 4. But I just wanted to talk about this. It's all very interesting. It's great to finally see the Black Order. I really like Thanos' armor. I am curious to where the Scarlet Witch and uh, Vision thing will go. Will Scarlet Witch just let Vision... Will Scarlet Witch die sacrificing herself to protect Vision? That's 
highly possible, or the opposite happened. Maybe Thanos, maybe that's how Thanos kept the throne. He he kept he kept your Scarlet Witch, and Vision is just like, okay, you win. Maybe we know they've been teasing a romance between the two, and that's the either one is the possibility. That he kills Scarlet Witch and just takes the Infinity Stone, and they both die, or Scarlet Witch is kept your and you as a blackmail. Either one is possible. All I know is Thanos is getting that Infinity Stone from Vision. Also, Tony Stark does mention in the Iron Man that they're going to use the Infinity Stones to fight him. I have no idea what that means. My understanding was you needed the Infinity Gauntlet to utilize the Infinity Stone properly. But then again, Loki used it was using the Tesseract, or the Mind Stone, I believe, in the of the Avengers movie. He would manipulate people, he was mind controlling people with it. So that's really confusing. And I don't have a ton else to say. It's amazing how far we have come since the first Iron Man movie. We're finally at Infinity War. If you guys enjoyed the video, tell me and I'll be sure to do more comic book videos like this. Please tell me. I really like talking about this stuff so I'll be more to, sure to cover the MCU more. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos like this. It's not what I do all the time, but I try to do something like this once in a while. I actually had a Marvel Fresh Start video, but it took too long to upload, and Marvel then dropped the titles, and it became pointless. So yeah, Marvel screwed me over with that one, but this was great. I love talking about this. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this. And with all, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out. Ugh.